American Pickers, what is Frank Fritz's business fate now? American Pickers fans are curious to learn if Frank Fritz's store will remain open amid his health issues. Last month, he suffered a massive stroke. Frank is still recovering as each day gets better. As TV shows A's previously reported, fans are upset that his former co-star Mike Wolf leaked this personal information to the public. He was the first to take to social media with the news. Soon enough, the media outlets got all the details of Frank's stroke. The original cast member tried to live a private life out of the spotlight after his firing. He was focused on his popular antique store before he became ill. What is Frank Fritz's store? The former American Pickers star owns Frank Fritz Vines, which is located inside the Hob Dog Bar and Grill in his home state of Illinois. As fans know, Frank and Mike grew up together. The classmates shared a love for antiques and collectibles. That's when the former friends pitched the idea of the reality series to the History Channel. American Pickers is currently filming its 24th season without Frank. Some fans still want him back on the series. They don't like the show's new host, Robbie. The ratings have taken a hit ever since Frank's firing. Frank Fritz is focused on his antique store, which offers collectibles and other odd items. However, it received its share of bad reviews on Yelp. Some customers said that it sold cheap and tacky merchandise. Frank seemingly took a step back from the store, but he has since made some changes. As of recently, the reviews for Frank Fritz finds have improved. However, the reviews on TripAdvisor are not as kind. One customer called it an utter waste of time, while another called it an uncomfortable, scary place. Frank had to take a step back from his business once again. His stroke caused him to focus on his health once again. Will the store shut its doors? Frank Fritz had fans worried about the future of his store. On Thursday, July 14, it was first reported that he suffered a stroke. It remained open during that time, but fans want to know about its fate. An insider told The Sun that the store won't shut its doors. Frank Fritz Vines will remain open. It is located in the Hob Dog Bar and Grill, the anonymous source told The Sun. As long as the restaurant is open, fans will be able to visit the antique store. The insider didn't reveal who is running the antique store. He has a staff who works to keep the lights on. Most of them have been working there since the beginning. Store hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, seven days a week. It's important to know that the official website for Frank Fritz Finds has been taken down. The only way to see the antiques and collectibles is to visit the store in person. The official Facebook page also hasn't been updated in some time. These findings could have had some fans wondering about the fate of the store. At the time of this writing, Frank Fritz is currently in stable condition. He's been hit with a series of health setbacks in the past few years. In March 2020, he needed grueling back surgery. In July 2021, Frank entered rehab for alcohol abuse. Frank Fritz, a beloved figure from the hit show American Pickers, has remained in the hearts of fans even after his departure. Known for his passion for rusty gold and his ability to negotiate like a true antiques pro, Frank's fate after his exit from the show left many wondering what his next steps would be. His sudden absence created a wave of concern, but more than that, it sparked curiosity about his business ventures outside of the show that helped make him famous. What is Frank Fritz's business fate now? Let's dig into what we know. Life after American Pickers For years, American Pickers thrived on the dynamic chemistry between Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz. Frank, with his laid-back, approachable style, had a way of spotting hidden treasures that others might overlook. He wasn't just Mike's business partner, he was a staple of the show, earning a loyal fan base with his quirky humor and vast knowledge of antiques. 
But things started to unravel in 2020 when Frank's long absence from the show became the subject of much speculation. Fans learned that Frank had undergone major back surgery, which led to significant health struggles, including his battle with Crohn's disease. Rumors swirled about possible tension between Frank and Mike. And when Mike finally confirmed that Frank would not be returning to the show, it raised more questions than it answered. Despite the personal and professional challenges he faced, Frank's business savvy didn't go away with his TV departure. The question of his business fate became even more intriguing. Where would the man with decades of experience in the world of antiques go from here? Frank Fritz finds. One thing that fans may not realize is that Frank had already established a solid business outside of American Pickers. His store, Frank Fritz Finds, located in Savannah, Illinois, became a destination for antiques enthusiasts, even while Frank was still on the show. The shop features an eclectic array of vintage goods, memorabilia, signs, and other oddities that reflect Frank's unique taste and the expertise he honed over years of picking. Frank Fritz Finds has continued to operate, serving as both a tangible reminder of his American Pickers days and a successful independent business. Frank's passion for finding those hidden gems never disappeared. And through his store, he's been able to maintain a presence in the world of antiques and collectibles. While Frank may no longer be traveling the back roads of America for the show, his business remains a hub for collectors, fans, and curiosity seekers. His knowledge of antique markets, combined with his love for the rare and unusual, keeps his store thriving. And in a small town like Savannah, Frank Fritz Vines has become a landmark in its own right often attracting fans of the show who are eager to meet the man behind the treasure trues. Expanding Beyond Antiques Frank's entrepreneurial spirit goes beyond just curating antiques. While his store is the main focus, there are rumors that Frank has considered expanding his business interests. With his vast knowledge of antiques, it's possible he could explore new ventures, such as consulting for other collectors or even starting his own series of instructional workshops for aspiring pickers. Frank's years of experience make him a valuable asset to anyone looking to break into the world of buying and selling antiques. Additionally, Frank's interest in classic cars, motorcycles, and memorabilia opens up further opportunities for him. His love for restoring old vehicles has always been a part of his identity on American pickers and there's speculation that he might delve deeper into the automotive world. This could range from buying and selling vintage cars to offering restoration services, or even starting a podcast or YouTube channel dedicated to his love of classic wheels. Health and Personal Challenges Despite his business success, Frank has had to navigate some significant personal challenges in recent years. His health struggles, including his ongoing battle with Crohn's disease, have been a difficult part of his journey. Additionally, Frank's legal issues, including a DUI arrest in 2020, added a layer of complexity to his personal and professional life. Yet through it all, Frank has shown resilience. His ability to maintain a business while dealing with these hardships speaks volumes about his determination. Fans have expressed concern and support for his recovery, with many hoping that Frank will bounce back stronger than ever. The future of Frank Fritz's business ventures. So what does the future hold for Frank Fritz's business fate? While Frank may no longer be part of American Pickers, his career in the antiques world is far from over. His store remains a cornerstone of his brand, and as long as there are antiques to be found, Frank will be in the mix. There's also the potential for Frank to capitalize on his fame and experience through other mediums. A return to television, perhaps in a different format, isn't out of the question. A spin-off series where Frank takes viewers behind the scenes of his store, sharing his wealth of knowledge about specific items, could be a huge hit with fans. 
With so many viewers still invested in his story, the opportunity for Frank to connect with his audience in new ways is wide open. Additionally, the rise of online sales and virtual marketplaces offers Frank another avenue for expanding his business. By bringing Frank Fritz finds to a broader digital audience, he could tap into the ever-growing market of online antiques buyers. Whether through an e-commerce site, online auctions, or collaborations with other collectors, Frank's brand could continue to grow and evolve.